What is up dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts guys. Today we've got the last evil twin card and the last new card from Secret Slayers or not Secret, Secret Slayers blah, 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 blah. Deck Build Pack Genesis Impactors G's for the evil twin archetype we knew this was coming. They're literally getting this at the OCG in three days. I think on Saturday is when they get it. Uh, maybe it's Friday. No, Saturday. Saturday they get it, um, I think, officially. And I just want to say, I called it as fuck. I called it so hard. If you want to go back to my video where I, where I recorded the uh, original reaction to the Evil Twin stuff, I said there were two particular things that didn't make sense, and this covers com almost completely one of them. Let's just go over the card and we'll then we'll talk about that. All right. So looking at this card, we have secret passphrase. Now this is not an evil twin card, but that's fine. Uh, once you know, <laughs> it's a normal spell. Uh, you can only activate one per turn, and you'll know why immediately. Add one live twin or evil twin spell or trap card from your deck to your hand, or if you control a kiss a kill monster and a Lilla monster, you can add one evil twin monster instead so kind of a little bit going on there uh this is one of this covers almost completely one of the things i said like i said uh, it's the thing particularly when we go back and look at the evil twin archetype there is legitimately no searchability for anything you cannot search entrance you cannot search the field spell it's terrible but you can't search it and then for the the traps i thought the evil twin challenge was pretty decent and i also thought that evil twin present was pretty decent but again neither were unsearchable or neither of them were searchable so this one's not not as good as the other two but like that was one of the big gripes i had is you had a pretty cool like turbo spell extender you had like a pretty cool card that lets you link on your opponent's turn or just be a um uh, like a call, an archetype call the haunted on your opponent's turn uh, to like get you potential disruption, uh, as well as uh, this card that is disruption, just lets you like shuffle a spell or trap into the deck, or uh, it lets you kind of like creature swap on your opponent's turn, but you choose the targets, which is kind of cool. So like you could like just give them one of the regular kiss a kill or Lilla monsters, and then like take just like an actual good monster they have. So like. It, it works like it, it's a fine disruption right so just like some decent things there I, I just think that's really nice that's one of those things I said I just like I thought they were they're decent cards they just when they're unsearchable there's like no utility in the deck you just have to hard open them with the right combination of other evil twin cards and that's never where you want to be like for a card to not be searchable it needs to be incredibly strong and in pretty much always live for it to like actually be worth in something in, in, in a time like 2020 and when it's not it, it just doesn't make sense now the other thing that still doesn't make sense is this boss monster like assuming this boss monster still must be special summoned from your hand or by attributing two monsters and can't be summoned by kiss a kill by lilla um or other ways or i guess like live entrance as well uh, then this card doesn't make sense either it's supposed to be the boss monster it probably has the best artwork of the entire of like all the art in the deck it's so it's still like really weird that it's like this i thought this was a potentially a translation error because this card just doesn't make any sense this card just stinks so you got to attribute two link monsters well in this deck two link monsters is both of these and i gotta be honest these are just worth more than this or these just going into a rank uh or a, a link four is definitely way better like i'd rather just drop an avermax on the board or an access code or like you know what i mean like something rather than just going into this because this is just plain and simple like not a great card if that's the only way you can summon it it's slow and it's not impactful and it's just it's just a big old pile of hoopla so all I got to say about this new card is it does shore up one of the two biggest gripes I had with the deck, um, consistency. And even that second effect, I mean, I guess I guess you have to have both a Kiss a Kill and a Lilith to add an evil twin monster instead, because I guess that does make the, the boss monster searchable, but I, even in a pure variant, I'm almost like, do we even play this card? Like, do we even play this card at all? Uh, because it just doesn't seem very good. Hmm. It's first effect is just like a bad 
evenly matched, a bad slow evenly matched, and the second effect just potentially makes itself, um, well, not even potentially, it's pretty, pretty easy to get itself there, to get itself to be a 4400 beater, but, like, that's it, like, a slow, non-protected 4400 beater that can, like, use a bad evenly matched effect, just, it's just not, it's just not amazing, so, uh, this does a good, a good little number for me, this does open up a little bit more for me, the potential for pure evil twin builds, um, especially in the few, if, if you, if they get a little more, a few more cards in the future, this just makes every spell or trap Konami makes for the evil twin archetype that much more searchable, that much more consistent, that much more utility based because you can now search it, which is really nice. So, um, this definitely is an archetype that still needs some kind of power boost. Um, like I think if the boss monster was searchable or was special summonable off of their effects, um then I think this deck could be a cool, like, interesting control build, but um, I just don't think the deck has enough power by itself. Um, but who knows, like, this card kind of sets us up, like I said, for any new cards we get to just be that much more searchable, that much more consistent, and so if they did get a power card later on, or cards later on, this card will be a, a nice little help in um, being able to see those cards when you, when in, uh, you want and when you need them. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I thought just this card, we have pretty much all the new cards here, so we're gonna see. Um, we'll have to see like reprints and stuff, but that should be all the new cards at least for um, you know deck build pack Genesis Impactors. And I think um, I think it's I think it's I don't know. It's not a banger. Like I don't think any of the three archetypes are the next Sky Strikers, the next Invoked, anything like that that we've seen in other past like deck build pack sets, even you know, obviously in recent memory, Ad Emancipator and Eldritch, but um, I do think they all have their own potential in their own way. I think Magistus seems like it's pretty splashable in, like, particular spellcaster archetypes. Doesn't want to work on its own, though. Um, I think Drytron is interesting, but it seems like it leans a little bit too much on its own, um, like, the big boss monster as far as, like, maintaining born presence. If your opponent can just either out that or just not let you get to that, it could put you in a pickle, but also, again, that deck like works really nicely with invoked so it could be one of those things where like you do your drytron stuff oh your opponent used all their hand traps on drytron stuff normal alistair and on a macabre that still seems fairly you know respectable and then for evil twins like they're an archetype where like even if you don't want to play any of the spells or traps like at all even just playing the monsters in the main deck and then the um the links and the extra deck is just like they're all one card dryads, dryad setups with potential to like make, like re really like a link play into a into a link four on the next turn, which is no joke. It, it really isn't. It's really like decent. So uh, I'm curious if that could be like an Eldritch build or something, or if people decide to go more more pure, or just maybe you tech in a couple more cards. Maybe you tech in this. Maybe you tech in some of the other spells or traps with the um, the main deck monsters. Um, you know, just for like utility when um when you can get to them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the deck build pack looks pretty cool. I'm more interested in Evil Twins and Magistus than I am Drytron, but you know, to each their own. That's pretty much gonna do it for us here. Sorry, this video got a little longer just for one card, but uh, it is the last card of Genesis Impactor, so I figured it deserved its due gil diligence, and it it is a really nice way to round out Evil Twins. You know my only two real problems with the archetype like one of them gets pretty much completely covered up here and um you know and helped out so that's pretty nice for me so thank you so much for watching guys that's gonna do it for me here subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and uh i will see you in the next video peace